What's up everybody? I am back again this week. Now, I am super excited. There's already probably been some reviews. Definitely has been some reviews on this already, but it is now my turn. Everything about my face is done except for like liner and lashes. And like the last video, I can't do any liner because I still have yet to get some. I have to find a really good liquid liner. So I've been watching some videos and I just need to get it, but I just haven't gone out to go and get anything yet. Lashes, I will do after. But we are going to play with some makeup. I'm going to do a little review on it. This will be my very first like actual review because this is the first time that I'm really playing with it. It hasn't been out for a while. It just came out. So I'm actually going to create a look and give you my actual review. This is going to be my review for the Jeffree Star Orgy Palette and the Mini Orgy Palette. I am so excited. So first off, first off, on here, the word, like all the letters are like raised slightly. It feels great. The packaging is so like, it's, it's hard to describe. It's not velvety, but it's not, it doesn't feel like plastic either. It's almost like a, like a rubber plastic type feel, which feels, great. He's never had <clears throat> packaging like this before. My voice sounds weird. It's because I just choked. Uh, anyways, this is what the inside of it looks like. The actual carton itself on the inside. Again, all the letters are raised. You have Jeffree Star all over the letters. And if you've never seen this palette before, this is what it looks like. This palette has 30 pans. It retails for $62 in the US, but in Canada, it retails for $88. All matte. I'm loving the color story. Everything about this is just amazing. So I do want to create like two different looks to show you that you can do a lot with this. Uh, so one eye is going to be more of a cool tone look and the other eye is going to be more of a warm tone look. So that's this one. And in the mini orgy, you can see all the little people all over it. And when you open it up, it literally is the exact same. It's just muted in color. Uh, again, the writing is raised and this one instead of it being all matte this one is all shimmer so i'm super excited to try this again i will use these on each eye one being more of a, a warmer look and one being more of a cooler look i'm excited if you are interested in seeing my review on the jeffree star cosmetics orgy palette and mini orgy palette then subscribe and keep on watching Oh, okay. I'm really excited for this. Oh, you have no idea how excited I am. Also, can we just talk about this mirror here? It fits literally my whole face. It's beautiful. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go in with a JS5 brush. This is his original JS5 brush. I'm gonna go into the transition shade. We'll do um, maybe a warmer look first. Let's do the warmer look first. Uh, I'm gonna go into the shade Fluffer, which is this one right here. And this is just gonna go as our transition shade into our crease. I have also already primed my eyes with just some e.l.f. concealer. Uh, I just used the 16 hour camo concealer. I personally don't believe in eye primer. Um, like I'll put the stuff on, but like I'm not gonna spend my money on eye primer when I feel like a concealer just does the same. I'm just taking very little product on here and I'm just kind of building it as I go. Now this is very close to my skin tone. It's also extremely light. So it's like, you're not really gonna see it, but it's just there to help with all the other colors, which is the point of a transition shade to transition into color. So like you can totally, you can see that there is a bit of a difference like between here and here. Like you can see it's a bit darker, but I do like it. It blended really nicely. I think it's nice. It's great. It's fun. So on a JS5 brush, this is his second version of it. I'm going to go into a more cool toned version of that. And that will be um, bed or floor, which is right over here at the end. And that's going to go in the crease on the other eye instead. This one has a little more kick up, as you can clearly see with all the fluff. So you can see cool tone clearly shows up a little bit more right away. Again, it's still blending really nicely and I'm just going in very soft handed and just 
blending it right into that brow bone up there as well. I think it looks nice. I like it. I think it's really, really nice. <laughs> That's our transitions. Okay, for our outer corner of the cool side, I'm going to go in with the shade. Uh, let's go in with the shade. What are we going with? Happy ending here. Um, happy ending is this one right here. To me, that speaks more cool. It could be warm, but to me, it looks more of a, a cooler shade. And this one, I'm just going to stamp on the outer. Oh, she pigmented. Yes, bitch. Jeffree Star didn't come to play with this palette. Eager. I'm just taking it right there. I'm just going to wing it out. And just kind of tuck it right into that crease there. We're going to go in on a JS9 brush. Because I don't have another JS8. And on this one, we're going to go in with the shade Money Shot, which is down here. This is more... It's kind of the same shade, but it's just warm instead. And again, that's going to do the exact same thing. We're literally doing the exact same eye look. Just one's cold colors and one's warmer colors. Um, so yeah, so stamp it on the outer. The pigment's not going to come up as much just because of the type of brush I'm using. The other one was a lot more dense than this one. So I will have to layer this one a little bit more more but so far it's looking really good i'm loving her you can tell like they look similar but this one is more warm and then that one is more cool for sure and i'm loving that there is all of these choices like no matter what your skin tone is what your undertones are you basically have a color for everybody in here to use which is what every palette really needs. Also, I have started planning my own palette. I'm hoping to, you know, kind of like go through with that and really just take it to the next level of my YouTube career, even though I'm not making any money from YouTube. But if you are interested in me actually kind of fulfilling that dream of my of mine to uh, come out with this palette and create it, then uh, make sure you're giving this video a little like because, again, I mean, I'm gonna make it anyways eventually, but if you would rather it sooner than later, then hit that like button. Okay, so that's both eyes done there. I'm gonna go in to the mini orgy palette now. Yay! I'm gonna go in with the JS11 brush. It's just a thick packer type brush and on the cool side What do I want on the cool side here? Uh, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade bathhouse, which is this one right here And that's just gonna go all over the lid. So I'm gonna just test it out without any Setting spray without using my finger everything like that. Mm. It's okay. It's okay with nothing on it. Like, it's showing up. You can clearly see that it is showing up. But is it, like, pigmented the house on a dry brush? No. And I was expecting it. I just wanted to give it a chance just in case that formula of his, his iconic formula, has sh changed. Has changed, G.U. But it's still as sickening as ever. And now that I'm applying it with my fingers... You can see it coming up even more. Again, I'm gonna just test it. So on a JS10 brush, similar, but it's smaller. I really wanna go in with this frozen fire shade right in the middle, that pinky one. I think it looks so fun. It's very, very warm because it is a pink nude. So I do wanna go with that all over. That literally doesn't show up on a brush. Okay, frozen fire. It's pink with like orangey yellow gold reflex. Can you see that? That is insanity. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
That is so fun. I'm, I'm, that's not a question. I'm, I'm telling you it's fun. I almost went in the bathhouse to get more. On the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my JS12 brush. For the cool side, we're going to go in with, you know what? I want to do Scorpio. Do I want to do Scorpio? Yeah, I want to, I want to, I'm going to put Scorpio, which is, I'm pretty sure the exact same shade as his liquid lipstick that he has. And this is just going to be run along the lower lash line of the cool side. It's like a, a gray beige brown mixture. I think it looks really nice. Again, it blends beautifully. And there's like next to no fallout in this shade. Like there's always going to be like a slight amount of kick up. But like, look at this. Look, watch. Ready? That was three dabs and there's like nothing there. So fantastic, fantastic formula. On a JS 13 brush, the warm side that I'm going to go in with is going to be Craving Chocolate. This warm tannish color there. That one has a little more kick up. And this one is going to go also on the bottom here. I'm just going to blend it into that top shade there. All right, finally, we are going to go in with the inner corners and then that will finish off our look. So on the cool side, we're going to go into the shade Glass Wet. Just right here on our pinky. Oh, that feels, that feels interesting. That doesn't feel like it's normal formula. Bathhouse seemed squishy. Frozen Fire seemed not the right word but pulley in a way like I don't know it was a weird like that like bathhouse is super super soft frozen fire just has like a more of a roughness whereas glass house just kind of feels literally like rough but like it's not like a bad rough like it's like it's pressed harder for sure that's what I'm meaning that's the word I'm looking for glass wet is pressed much harder than Frozen Fire, which is pressed harder than Bathhouse. Bathhouse so far has been the softest press. So this shade right here, Glass Wet, right on the inner. Now, I will say with this one, I'm not a big fan. Don't get me wrong, like Jeffree Star has great, great quality. I don't know if that was the intention with this one or if it was like, done by mistake but I don't know I'm not really feeling glass wet it's very it's pressed really really hard and like it comes up here but as you can see on the eye it's not giving off that same glow I don't know it's like it's nice it is nice but it's there could be more now which one comes off more warm I don't know Definitely this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Foam Party, and that one is gonna go on the inner corner of this eye over here. See that one? That one comes up a lot more, and it looks really pretty next to that Frozen Fire shade. All right, I'm gonna go put on some mascara, and I will be right back all right and that is my whole look all complete this palette is everything both of them i love both palettes um obviously my favorite shade in the mini orgy is frozen fire i think it is so pretty on the eye that duochrome pink to gold shift is everything and it literally it's so icy but yet so so hot at the same time um i also really enjoy that like grayish brown shade of bathhouse i think that's also a really really nice color um i took that one higher up because i wanted it to show a little bit more whereas with the frozen fire like you can see it. even when i'm like looking dead on you can still see it kind of like peeking through because i do have like hooded eyes i can still see it peeking through and then Especially when you blink, it's just like, oh, hi, hi, random bit of color. How are you today? So I think, I think it, they both turned out really nicely. The mattes in here are super, super nice. 
I think they all blended really, really well. I think my, honestly, I think my favorite one was, uh, color-wise of mattes, I think my favorite one was actually Craving Chocolate. That was the lower lash line down here. I think it turned out really nicely. I'm really, really happy. You can create an all matte look. You can create an all shimmer look if you wanted. Do a combination of the two like I just did. But yeah, do I think that it is worth your money? Absolutely, 100%. You're getting full pigment payoff, high quality eyeshadows. Yes, it's a little more expensive than what you would find at a drugstore, obviously, but they blend, they work, and it's, a brand that you can count on for great, great payoff. So, these are approved. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, if you do not have these, go out and buy them. The whole collection is stunning. And I wish I could have afforded to get the whole thing. Um, Jeffrey, on the off chance that you're watching this. Hi. Can I please be on your PR? Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button. If you want to see more of these type of videos, then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I put videos out every single week. I will see you on the next one and uh, comment below some of your favorite shades in this palette. This I think might be my favorite palette ever that he's come out with. It's so nice. I love it. So until the next one, bye friendships. I just wanted to quickly hop on now that everything is like off. I just wanted to show you how easily this comes off. Like I just one swipe and it was just boom. Watch. Are you ready? Watch this. It's like already half gone. <laughs> so that's another bonus. If you don't like struggling with taking off your makeup, this won't be a struggle to take off. Like it's literally a couple swipes and it's all gone. Like that was two and a half swipes all off my eyes. So even more approved. Thanks, Orgy.